Hey everyone, Lil Zohaz here and today I'm gonna be showing you how I make my edits smoother using these plugins, RSMB, Blocks and Sapphire. Okay, so here we have our edit without any effect and before adding any effect, we should add a new adjustment layer. So we right click, click on new and then adjustment layer. Now let's start with RSMB. So first we're gonna go ahead and search for RSMB. And then I'm gonna use the regular RSMB, but you guys can use the pro version if you want. Like it won't make any difference. The settings is gonna be the exact same, but it's just that I'm used to it, like the regular version. So yeah, well first thing you wanna do is change motion sensitivity to 100. So we change it to 100. And then change the blur amount to um, 1.25, which is good, but you could go with 1.5 if you want. But I suggest you go in with 1.5. And that's it for RSMB. Like super easy, nothing complicated. Okay, let's move to the second part where we're gonna be adding wiggle and CC. Um, for this part, I'm gonna make it more simple for you guys. So I dropped them as a preset in the description. So you put them in your presets file in After Effect, and you just copy it and you're done. So we add the wiggle and the CC to the adjustment layer this way. So we add the wiggle. Also the CC. And yeah. If you face this issue, I forgot it. If you face this issue, just right click on Tile Center in the Motion Tile tab and click on Reset. And you're good. But also, for the CC, you don't really just like copy the CC I'm gonna be using because every clip is different. So I suggest you guys look for CC presets on YouTube where you're free to use a lot of CCs for your edit. Whatever, let's move just to the um, to the last effect. Fine. Uh, the last part where we're gonna be adding uh, sharpen. Well, this effect is kind of the most important effects on After Effects because uh, it makes the edit look better and high quality so I will always make sure that I add it to all my edits so we add it to an adjustment layer and only change one thing which is sharpen AMP change it from 1 to 1.2 and that's it so that's it for today's video it's really simple, just kind of add a few effects to your clips, nothing too complicated, but I think when it comes to learning After Effects, it's just scary. Anyways, thanks for watching, see you guys next time.